Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can troubleshoot Java environments means how to set Java environment variables so right now I have installed two versions of uh, I think three versions of Java that is 1.5, 1.6 and 1.7 but after installing these on my 64 bit they have not configured my environment variables automatically so there are no configuration in my environment variables so I cannot use uh, I cannot run or compile my Java programs so let's see what's happening in my command prompt I am cmd and let's check the version of java and java c if both versions are so, will show then I can run and compile my program so let's check with java version c it is not recognizing my java and let's check for java compiler java compiler is also not recognized so i have to set environment variables for that so for that go to start and search environment variables and in this block if I will set my environment variables the settings will be applied for only my this account that is the way you are and if I set my environment variables in this block then it will apply and uh, accessible for all accounts for this window so if you are setting for this block then you have to restart the computer system to apply the changes so for right now I am applying the environment variable for this account so for that I first need to know where is my java has installed jre installed jre and jdk so for that i am going to my computer and normally it installed in local c under programs files so as i had said that i am using 30 uh, sorry 64 bit so there are two folders for program files since my jre is for 32 bit it will not go in this folder because in this folder 64 bit programs uh, goes so my uh, java is in this 32 bit folder so i am going into this and i will search for j j for java and will enter these are the JDKs I, I am using and let's configure for 1.7 you have to go for Java and after that JDK your version and after that bin you have to copy this part uh, again I am reminding you that for 32 bit users you have to go to this part this directory so in my case this is the directory for my jdk i am copying this directory and i will make a new environment variable so new i will give name path and paste the whole 
directory okay and click ok now we have to set class path class path it means it will in which directory the dot class file it should search after compilation so first it should search in its own directory and then here now again click new and name it lib uh, normally users keep uh, the variable name in uppercase so it doesn't matter if you are keeping it in uppercase or lowercase now paste it click ok again give include these are the four variables which should be set in environment variables for proper use uh, I don't know the all uh, the requirement of include and lib uh, lib means library it will provide the library but uh, the main two environment variables are class path and path so it's good if you are giving all four directories after that click ok and remember that you cannot use uh, old cmd that is uh, before those cmds which are opened before setting the environment so close that and click search for the cmd now i will again check the java version it is showing me and now check for java compiler version it is showing me it means now i can compile and run my program so let's check a program mm -hmm. i have a program here a very simple program that which will print Welcome to Blue Truth channel copyright the viewer. So let's compile this program. So I should know where this file is located. It is located located in D directory. So uh, click on now change the directory for D and Java to compile it has compiled my program successfully you can see here the class file is created now I will run the program Java Now it has successfully printed my program. Now you will wonder why I should <coughs> uh, set environment variables for system. Uh, let's suppose you you want to run this program from here. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, shift uh, key press shift and right click and open command window here. It will automatically open uh, set the directory uh, so for that folder. So in this case if I check Java version it will give me the same error because the environment variables were set for that cmd not for system cmd 
uh, I also don't know the exact problem, but this is what I know. So again, go to environment variable settings for system. and do all these things here so I am again doing same uh, one more thing first you should know if these variables are located here or not so let's check for class path there is no class path so create new class path variable and dot this dot and semicolon and the uh, my directory now let's see if there is include press i there is no include so create no include Now check for lib. There is no lib. And last is path, which which is already available here. So click it. Now see if there is the path is already set or not so I think the path is not set so go to at the end and give semicolon and then your directory so and after that click ok so let me show you how you can see that uh, the directory is already set or not so control all and copy open the notepad and paste and paste this if you uh, our recently pasted directory is this and if you see any directory like this here java directory you can remove that directory so since it is ok i can click ok and ok so as i had set the directories here for system all system so I need to restart my computer so I am coming after restarting the computer so I am back after restarting my laptop so let's go to the direct where my java file is situated mm, and this first I will delete this class file and open open command prompt here now i will check the java version it has recognized my java version so now let's check the java compiler version now I can compile my program so compile it has successfully compiled my program now let's run it it has done